Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and I've got a question for you audiophiles out there. Do you ever get frustrated with the sound quality of your portable music player? For some people, the convenience and relative small size of MP3 audio files more than compensates for the loss in audio quality, but some discerning listeners are simply not interested in hearing their favorite music in compressed, lossy formats if they can avoid it. Indeed, for a lot of audio files, 16-bit, 44.1 kilohertz CD quality audio is just the beginning, as these folks are seeking out high-definition audio files at much higher sampling rates and 24-bit resolutions. Well, if that sounds like you, then check this out. This is the AK100 portable audio player from Astral and Kern, and not only will it play back audio files at rates of up to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz, it plays back a multitude of file formats, including MP3s, WAVs, and AIFFs, but also AAC, ALAC, FLAC files, and more. Let's take a quick look. First of all, let's be clear, the AK100 does one thing and one thing only, it plays back audio files. You won't be making calls on it, checking your emails, playing games, or any of the myriad of other things that can distract you while listening to music. Astell and Kern have focused their efforts on building an elegant and great sounding audio player. And elegant it is. The build quality is outstanding. The unit has brushed aluminum front and side panels and an easy to see 2.4 inch color touch screen on the front. In addition to the touch screen, a forward, rewind, and play pause button are on one side, while an old school volume knob is on the other side. I was a little skeptical about the volume knob, but was pleased to learn that it can be locked so you don't accidentally change it, say if you're carrying the AK100 in your pocket. On the top of the unit is the headphone and optical output mini jack. Just beside that is the optical in jack and the power button that also turns the screen off with a quick press. The optical input means you can use the AK100 as a high quality digital to analog converter for devices with optical digital out like certain CD players, for example. At the bottom is the micro USB connection, allowing you to load files on the AK100 from your Mac or PC and to recharge the unit's built-in battery that'll power the unit from anywhere from 12 to 20 hours, depending on the size of the files you're playing back. Next to that, behind the sliding door, are two micro SD card slots that support cards of up to 32 gigabytes. In addition, there's another 32 gigabytes of built-in flash memory. That brings the total memory capacity to 96 gigabytes, which might seem like a lot for a portable audio player until you consider that the files the AK100 can play back can be substantially larger than compressed MP3 files, so all that memory can fill up pretty quickly. The key to the unit's audio quality is the Wolfson WM8740 digital to analog converter that delivers truly stunning sound for a small portable audio player. It certainly blows away any portable music player or phone I've ever heard. Although to be fair, my basis of comparison is an Apple iPod and iPhone rather than high-end portable music players like the Hi-Fi Man HM901 or the iBasso DX100. Now one thing the AK100 doesn't come with is a pair of headphones, which surprised a few of my coworkers in the office here because, let's face it, this unit is expensive. But this unit is not for a teenage kid looking to play variable bit rate MP3s on the subway. If you're buying the AK100, you are an audiophile, and theoretically, you'd already have a quality pair or several pairs of headphones to choose from. Now, when choosing headphones for the AK100, keep in mind that the headphone output has a rather high 22 ohm impedance. So Astell and Kern recommends high quality, high impedance headphones or in-ear monitors in the 30 to 300 ohm range, preferably above 40 ohms. Now that being said, appearing on their list of recommended phones are the Shure SE425 in-ear monitors, and that's a 22 ohm pair, go figure. At any rate, I tested it out with a pair of Shure SE535s, that's a 36 ohm in-ear monitor, and the AK100 sounded simply stunning. The level of detail, even on 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz files, is terrific, and when you play even higher resolution files, the AK100 really really comes alive, revealing the kind of details and subtle nuances in the music that hi-fi enthusiasts live for. Playing back a 24-bit, 96 kilohertz download of My Bloody Valentine's MBV album revealed mixed details like subtle reverb throws on the vocals and details in the layers of guitars I hadn't noticed before. The AK100 sounded so good, I ended up playing a lot of music on it because the details it revealed were so terrific. It's like rediscovering your music collection. And that brings us to the question of where you will get high-definition audio tracks, or what Astell and Kern call mastering quality sound. Well, 
Well, at the moment, your best bet for purchasing high definition audio files is at the HD Tracks website, where tracks at resolutions of up to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz are available. Unfortunately, the catalog of material available here is a bit limited. Hopefully, though, we'll see more titles available in the future as the HD Tracks catalog is constantly growing. In addition to the limited availability of high definition audio files right now, there are a couple of other negative aspects to the AK100. The touchscreen is not quite as responsive as I might have liked, and there is no gapless playback. Before the start of every track, I could just hear a barely perceptible little thud. Also, recharging the built-in battery takes a whopping five and a half hours, and while the AK100 does include a USB cable and pouch, it would have been nice for them to include an AC adapter. Nonetheless, I have to say I was really impressed by the AK100's build and sound quality, and it even offers Bluetooth capability and a built-in EQ. Its ability to play back a variety of different file formats is fantastic, and while you can use the iRiver Plus 4 software for PC to manage your playlists, I have to say I loved the fact that you can simply drag and drop files from your computer's hard drive directly to the AK100, and the library scan function helps keep the music organized for you. So there's a look at the AK100 from Astle and Kern. If you're a discerning audiophile looking for a portable, high-end music player capable of playing a variety of file formats at resolutions of up to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz, the AK100 might just be the solution you've been looking for. I'm Rob from B&H. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.